Ladies and gentlemen, meet Dr. Andrew Tate. This is going to be an educational video where the top G gives us his insight on epidemiology. Make sure you have a pen and paper handy for this one, kids. We might learn something. It wasn't. There was Why? a new. There was a new novel coronavirus. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what the facts were, and you can then laugh at them if you wish. Sure. But there was a novel coronavirus. Yeah. COVID nineteen. It was killing thousands of people a day. Really. Yes. That's absolutely. Scary. Yeah. And as a, and I know people who died. Who I know doesn't? I know people who died before Corona. Of Fine. Illness. I'm sure people died of lots of things, but it was killing exponentially thousands and thousands of people, and then. For those that don't know, I suffer from long COVID and POT syndrome brought on by COVID infection. I normally keep my content about long COVID to a separate YouTube and TikTok channel, which I'll link in the description if anyone's interested. But for this video, we're going to have two worlds collide. Now, I never planned to make a video on all the stupid things that Andrew Tate has said about COVID, but during the week, Tristan shared this thread by The Real World Access that showed a bunch of old videos of Andrew during the height of the pandemic. And they are just... Ah. Now, just to make sure everyone has an idea of the levels of expertise we're going to be hearing here, this is a man who freely sold a course on the internet, explaining and teaching how he committed sex trafficking. Well, fucking whoever. Is this your PhD you program? PhD program, that's right. You and want to talk a little bit about that? So yeah, on corporatetape.com, I have my PhD program, and that is a uh, PhD is a pimp and hose degree that I'm um, clever. And that, clever. That, that, that teaches basically how I got girls, how I met girls, how I got girls to like me, how I got girls to fall in love with me to work on webcam for me, because that's what I did. That was my my mo was find girls, make them love me, and make them work for me, and that's how I got rich. So that teaches everything I know from start to finish about. Uh, not only getting girls, not only obtaining them, but retaining them. Because that's a completely different game as well. He also didn't even know that jail phone calls were recorded and was caught red-handed trying to bribe officials and ordering girls to make videos claiming that they are not victims. What we are dealing with here is historically unprecedented levels of stupid. One thing he's very adamant of in these videos is that his handling of the COVID-19 pandemic is due to him being incredibly tough. What kind of pussy must you be to be on the internet talking about masks and social distancing one year into this corona scam? You are so weak in your heart. You're so desperate for the government to come along and control your life. You don't understand what it's like to be as powerful as I am. These people are pussies. I caught Corona and then my vagina started to hurt because they're bitches. They ain't strong like me. These are, I fuck these hoes. I know these hoes. They ain't strong. I'm not a fucking bitch. I'm not like all these other men on fucking Twitter who talked tough their whole Twitter careers about being, I'm an alpha male, da 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 da. Oh, oh, put my mask on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me put my, the fuck's wrong with you? Andrew is too tough to wear a mask. Although when it came to a health scare he had back in April, he had very different energy. He shared this terrifying ordeal with his fans with this following tweet. My swollen blood pressure is through the roof. Things on fire. Hard to breathe. Some sort of severe reaction or poison. Only had coffee and water so far today. All appeared in the last five minutes. Needless to say, it ended up being nothing. Poor Andrew just got a little bit spooked by a rash. One thing Andrew loves to claim is that he was completely right all along about what he calls the corona scam. Yet these videos from several years ago reveal a bold prediction that has never come true. That if people kept wearing their masks when required, they were going to keep you in lockdown and bring vaccine mandates on everyone. The longer you comply with these bullshit rules, 
the longer the rules are going to stay. Every time you put a mask on, you are inspiring. You're inspiring the people in charge to keep you locked in your house. Because it will never end. As long as you're a coward and you go do, 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 they're gonna lock you in your house. House. Because you know what? All these mandatory vaccines, all the fucking implications, all the upcoming slavery, the slavery which is assured to us, the slavery which is coming. It's their fault this vaccine's being mandated because that's what's coming. Vaccine mandation's coming. Why not? They mandated the mask and they expected, well, sorry, not they. I expected men to stand up and resist, but it was just me alone, surrounded by fucking cowards. And I've been right since the very beginning. Well, every other man around me talked like a coward. I was the only one who was correct from the start. For a man who claims to have been right about COVID from the start, he took a pretty fat L on this one. It's been three to four years since these videos, and we still haven't been put back in lockdown or had everyone in society forced to take the vaccine. In this next rant, Andrew claims that clinical trials for the vaccine would have required a time machine. I don't see why I need to take an experimental drug, which is what it is. It's experimental because there's not, there's been no long-term clinical trial unless these motherfuckers at AstraZeneca can time travel, which I don't think they can. Because I say this stuff like, oh, but AstraZeneca, you don't trust modern medicine? I don't trust they can time travel, no. So they don't know the long-term effects because they have never been documented because nobody knows the long-term effects because it's brand new. Now you're gonna allow them to inject experimental fucking DNA altering drugs into your arm. Yeah, please, oh, please, I wanna use a, a plane. Please, can I fly? Inject me up, give me it. What the fuck is wrong with you people? We oh boy, for the only man on the planet that was correct about the pandemic, our boy is struggling. Pfizer's COVID vaccine trial alone had over 46,000 participants and took 13 months. No one needed a time machine. As for the experimental poison that alters your DNA, this is one of the go-to anti-vaxxer myths that is based on the misunderstanding of study done in Sweden. But this is what Andrew does, dribbles absolute rubbish with supreme confidence so his naive followers think he knows what he's talking about. Okay, time for our next medical declaration from Dr. Andrew. COVID-19 cannot hurt you. We tried to inspire people to show you you're not gonna get sick. They're just trying to take your freedom away to protect us from the virus, which can't even hurt you. 99% survival rate. The tooth fairy ain't hurting no old people. COVID ain't hurting no old people. This has been proven. I don't see why I should take an experimental drug to protect me from something which cannot hurt me, COVID, which we know won't kill me, but there's no government in the world that's gonna come along and control my life for a virus which cannot hurt me. Four years on, Andrew's claims that COVID cannot hurt you are looking pretty silly. At the time of this video, we're looking at 7 million deaths worldwide, with the major widespread issue that I can speak on being the mass disabilities post-infection, with conservative estimates being upwards of 70 million cases of long COVID worldwide, and high estimates in the hundreds of millions. Long COVID sucks pretty hard. Check out my other channel for more info on that. But before I was infected, I was big and strong like Andrew. I couldn't throw a head kick like Andrew, but you can't head kick long COVID away. This next part is somewhat off topic, but during this period, Andrew seemed to love talking about how sexy he thinks he is. I'm also rich, six foot four, sexy as fuck. It doesn't really bother me because I'm rich as fuck and I'm sexy. It doesn't really affect my life. I was talking to someone the other day and they said, Tate, do you really think the vaccine is going to hurt you? You're tall, strong, sexy as fuck, rich, smart, gorgeous. Okay, now let's break down Dr. Sexy as Fuck's logic when he sees posts on Twitter from people claiming to have suffered severe symptoms when infected by COVID. 
When you see these long threads on Twitter of people going, I caught Corona the next day, my temperature was so high. They're just idiots, attention-seeking pussies. That's what they are. A 104-year-old man just beat Corona. I saw it on fucking Twitter. These people are pussies. I caught Corona and then my vagina started to hurt because they're bitches. Because I know these girls who are sending me their positive tests. They ain't iron men. They ain't strong like me. These are I fuck these hoes. I know these hoes. They ain't strong. And now they go with a sore throat. So... So to be clear, Andrew has stated many times that he doesn't believe in medical studies. He relies on anecdotes for all of his opinions. Yet when he sees anecdotes that contradict what he thinks about COVID-19, they're just attention-seeking pussies. There's still a lot of young lads out there that think this is a serious person. There is one thing that gets Dr. Andrew into an emotional tailspin. Masks. What kind of pussy must you be to be on the internet talking about masks and social distancing one year into this corona scam? If you're, we need masks, we need lockdowns. What is wrong with you? I'm a sovereign individual. Germans are complete losers about masks. You know, the Germans follow all the rules. Oh, no, no, you must follow the rules. Where's your mask? Oh, oh, put my mask on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me put my, the fuck is wrong with you? I'm not wearing a mask. This is designed to degrade you. The mask is designed to degrade you. If someone, if the government came along and said, the tooth fairy said, you need to wear a mask. And they go, well, I don't believe in the tooth fairy, but they said I better wear it. So I'll just put it on. Doop to doop to do. Let me just, it's just a mask, Andrew. Why are you so angry? Doop to do. Bah, bah, bah. Let me put it on. Well, you know, people, there's old people. But I refuse to be cupped. I don't give a shit how dangerous your disease is. Don't tell me to put something on my fucking face. Do, 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 do. Let me put on my mask. Do, do. And you know whose fault this is? This is the fault of all the mask wearers. All you men listening to this, you know I'm talking about you. Yes. One of the main points that Andrew makes through this series of videos is, I don't want to wear a mask. What a baby. There's obviously no scientific reasons why he doesn't want to wear a mask. He's not capable of such a thought. He's just being a child. Now, in a twist to the story, the boys found a safe haven where they could go party away from the tyrannical control of governments. Okay, well then that leaves us one option, which is Stockholm, Sweden. Are you in or not? I'm outvoted. Nice. That's an it. Go to Stockholm. We're going to Stockholm. We're going to Stockholm! We're going to Sweden. Sweden? Why Sweden? Sweden is the most boring place in the universe. However, right now it's the funnest place on the planet. It's the only place that's still open. So the Swedish people have done the same thing we've done, said coronavirus isn't real, fuck it, we're not scared. Of course, it wasn't exactly as Tristan described it, that Sweden agreed with the brothers that the coronavirus wasn't real. But they went against the grain of the rest of the world, going with a herd immunity approach, believing that deliberately infecting its citizens would make them more immune to COVID-19. They also prescribed cocktails for elderly patients in nursing homes that were essentially a death sentence, resulting in involuntary euthanasia. Both Sweden's approach was essentially let her rip and murder everyone's grandma and grandpa. There's old people. The tooth fairy ain't hurting no old people. COVID ain't hurting no old people. This has been proven. There's a country out there, it's called Sweden, which I was in during the lockdown, which is wide open with no restrictions, with no deaths. You have your evidence right there that the whole thing's bullshit and you still refuse to comply. Do, 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 do. Let me put on my mask. Do, do. Again, Dr. Tate is not quite right. Unfortunately, herd immunity does not work for SARS-CoV-2. There's been 27,000 reported deaths in Sweden so far, a bit more than the zero that Andrew stated. Sweden has still been experiencing surges in cases and deaths, and the herd immunity approach is an economical disaster. We've heard a lot of rubbish from Andrew, absolute verbal diarrhea. Let's look at one last piece of mind-numbing stupidity. So, Yesterday I was driving Bugattis all day outside in the rain and the cold and now I have a sore throat. 
because I've been out in the rain and the cold. You get a sniffle, a bit of a sore throat. So the guy who runs my hotel said to me, oh, you seem sick. Uh, you, have, you want to do a corona test? I was like, no, thanks. He goes, oh, you should really do one. I said, no, I don't want to do one. If I do one, it's going to give you an excuse to lock me up for 14 days. So no, I, don't, I refuse to do a test. Anyway, the guy, after the fourth time of asking, he started implying that I had to. Well, to stay in the hotel, you should really do a corona test. We, we might have to ask you to do a test. So I just had to leave my hotel to avoid being imprisoned for having a sore throat. This is the world we live in now. They'll steal your freedom from you at random if you have a sore throat. I don't believe in those tests. They say everyone has something. So I'm in Germany. I just got my car. And I can't drive back to Romania because at the German border, there's corona tests. And if I fail them, I'm going to be locked up for 14 days. So I'm trapped in Germany in my car, and I can't let anyone know I have a sore throat. I have to hide, hide from the world. There's only one place we can fly where they're not going to corona test us on the way in. I know what you're thinking. So I think we might drive straight to the airport, tell them we need the first business class flight to Stockholm. To Stockholm. Let's do it. This man has continuously claimed that he was the one that was right about COVID all along. Yet one Twitter thread full of old videos during the early stages of the pandemic showed how completely and utterly clueless this man is. Unprecedented historical levels of stupid. Yet because he speaks so confidently, He's the ultimate stupid person smart man. Very was, intelligent guy. Yeah, super articulate. Extraordinarily intelligent. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know... His brother, too. Yeah. Doesn't, doesn't get as much credit, but... You know, they're very, very smart guys. To the young men that are left watching this man and treating him with some kind of seriousness, if you are unable to bring yourself to accept or even look at all of the publicly available evidence that this man has committed horrific, violent crimes, just try listening to the substance that comes out of his mouth and realise that there is nothing there. You say and go, well it is a pandemic. Moron. 